welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. This guy is someone who I find fascinating. He is widely renowned as one of the greatest singers of all time, yet he doesn't do anything crazy with his voice, but there is something that just connects and I I wanted to talk about it and discuss it and have a listen. It's Elvis. Well it's one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready now go get going, but don't you step on my boots with you. Well you can do anything but go for my boots with you. Well you can knock me down, step on my face, slander my name all over the place, I do anything that you want to do, but I, I, honey, lay off of my shoes, and don't you step on my boots with you. So listen, he isn't doing anything that is technically difficult, but there is um, an energy, there is a confidence about him, and there is also the fact that he is combining lots of different styles. He has that Buddy Holly hiccup in there, a blue suede, a blue suede. He didn't say suede, he said suede. And the little bounce, his diction, it's clear, but it just sounds like Elvis. No one else sounds like him. And that is something that's really important, that uniqueness. Often actually people come to me being like, how can I find my unique voice? And you can hear his unique voice when he speaks. His singing voice is an extension of his speaking voice. The little nuances, the way that he articulates things, that's how he articulates things when he speaks. And that's something to pay attention to. How do you naturally express emotion? How do you naturally communicate? What are your weird quirks? Put them in your singing and it might end up being beautiful. His diction is so spot on. Look from her. His sense of rhythm is so spot on. As I say, he's not doing high notes or anything like that, but it is that sense of rhythm that gives him that energy, that ability to kind of drive. It really just hits you because he's uh, it's punching all those consonants. They're so crisp. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm stopping and starting it. But then, you do anything. He's kind of like smoothing that out. He just is really playful in his delivery. And it isn't the same every time. It's just playing around with how you can deliver it to make it fun. And it is. It ends up being fun. Okay, dance with me, everyone. It's so fun. Wow. Yeah. I think it's that being unashamedly yourself is one of the most important things that you can be in music. It's that authenticity that connects with people. It doesn't have to be in the same way as Elvis. In fact, it's better if it's not, if it's more you. So whenever you're trying to find your unique self within things, know that it's already there. You are your own unique person. There's no one else like you in the world. There's no one else like Elvis in the world. And he just didn't try to be anyone else. He just was him and it was, it turned out like this. And whatever you turn out like, 
there's going to be something cool. There's going to be a cool music version of you too. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.